So let's recap some of the important lessons from this unit. If you've made it this far, good for you. There's a lot of material in this unit, advanced material that's pushing the frontiers of the field. But that's why you took this class, right? So here's some of the lessons we learned along the way. Dense end body. We learned two main lessons here. One is the importance of minimizing global memory bandwidth. And the second, reducing parallelism by increasing the amount of work per thread might reduce your overall communication cost and hence your overall runtime. Sparse matrix vector multiply. The right data structure can make a big difference. And the keys to high performance with our implementation was reducing load and balance between threads, keeping all of our threads busy and optimizing to use the most efficient communication possible. Breadth first traversal. Choosing the most efficient parallel algorithm is perhaps the most important thing you can do. For large problems, a superior problem in terms of asymptotic work complexity will nearly always beat even an optimized, more expensive algorithm. And the real challenge in our optimized algorithm was handling the irregular expansion and compaction at each step. Scan is the natural primitive to handle these operations. List ranking. This is a good example of a problem that is not inherently parallel. To solve it well on a GPU, we use the important technique of trading more work for fewer steps. And once again, we see the power of scan to address a problem that at first glance seems difficult to paralyze. And the hash table. The key insight in the hash table implementation was recognizing that a serial data structure was the wrong fit for this problem. Instead, we used cuckoo hashing, which was much more parallel friendly.